it should be quick to so we got our clean last night and we're now we're going to work on this next split so this time i have the um super glue brush nozzle so i'm going to use brush which is great for this okay that chinese food you ate Oh my God, what was it? Oh my God. I'm not surprised. You murdered it. You murdered her. Oh Lord. Good thing with the brush gives you preciseness. Now I'm going to press. Make sure it's done on the inside as well as the outside. You have to make sure you're pressing so that your pressure points can um, make sure you're getting the inside seam of Barbie's head and the outside as well. Absolutely. Um, I gave it a good cleansing last night with tissue detergent. I also used acetone and a Q-tip to um, clean the area, let it dry well overnight. It's it's sticking. There we go. Move this curl out the way. I'm gonna take my finger, rub down, wipe excess off on a paper towel. There it is. There you go. Next split has been put back together. There we go. Don't worry, I'm gonna turn my camera around the other way. I'm looking on the inside. Now, when you get ready to put this back on the doll's body. You will, um, I recommend if you have a coffee maker, heat some water up in the coffee maker, use hot water like that to um, dip the doll's head in, but wait 24 hours so this glue can cure. And um, once it's cured and fully stuck, that is when you heat hot water in your coffee maker and um, just dip the doll's head in. You don't have to do it in this area, but enough to make it very soft and squishy. So I can pop right back on the body and you're done but it does a very seamless way so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to show you by turning my camera around here we are see you can't even see that big neck split look I mean it literally makes it non visible right there you see a little bit of it in this area because it went into the hairline but we've made this our focal point because that's what you can see. You can barely see right there. And I also got it from the inside. But look how nice and clean it looks. So it came out very clean. A little dish detergent, toothbrush, cleaned her up. So I'm going to retouch her lips. I want to say thank you um, to someone who left me feedback letting me know that her lips were, were supposed to be full. So we will do her lips. I'm going to do a color match. I am going to touch Sorry, I, my phone has updated and it wanted me to start it over. And I'm not ready to do that yet. So I moved the curl out the way there. So I am going to hit that glue and load that little spot right there for extra protection since the inside's done. Here, I'll open this back up. Ah. So I'm going to, I did use the Loctite, I mean, sorry, I did use Gorilla Glue, I bought the new one today. I used one with the brush spout. Please be careful and be in a um, very well ventilated area. Remember, this was made to go on rubbery things like a Barbie head, plastics. This is not made to go on a human being, this glue. It's not meant for people. Use a well ventilated area. This is not something you apply on your own head. Common sense, please. Google can be your friend. I use glue to repair dolls. Neck splits, head splits. If your Barbie doll has a crack in her neck, it's great for fixing that as well. Um, gel, I really prefer gel because it's thicker and it's not gonna move. But for something like a neck split, the Gorilla Glue and with the brush, is definitely the best. It will handle that for you. So if you have several vintage Barbie dolls, no matter what era, 
whether they're from the, the original 60s, 70s, 80s, any Barbie that has neck splits. Oh, let me get Peaches and Cream real quick. And I'll show you while she's drying. So, but the good thing is it has been fixed. That will not come loose. It will not come back loose. I know I'm broke out. I'm working on it. It's not bad as it was yesterday. <sighs> I know I sound nervous. I apologize. Yes, anxiety does love misery. Hmm. Company, I mean. So, what I'm going to do in this live video, we're also going to touch up her face paint. And I do have the colors to work on it. So, I'm going to do that live right now in this live video. Why not? Let me grab my glasses. Ah, to make it better, hold on. I'm going to hit pause. Okay, I guess it's because of the sunlight coming in. Okay, I went ahead and got everything set up. Got my glasses. So, Here's Barbie's head. We got the neck split all nice and sealed up. We're in natural lighting. Makes a difference. Hold on. I'm moving kind of robotic like. Let me fix this real quick. There we go. Now we got it. Good thing is I have natural lighting coming from behind me, which might. Oh, Barbie, pictures and creams, earrings are in my glass case. Oh, I'm getting me a new pair of glasses soon, next month. I go for another eye exam. I'm getting rose gold. Forgot the name brand. It is, there are name brand. Creams. Well, hello, Miss Dixie. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, she looks good. Okay, I need to. I need to get something to pull her hair out of the face. Mm. Here's a sketch I have done for Barbie convention back here. Let me see. I'll give you a slight sneak peek. That is all I can show you. Literally, that's all I can show you. But it's um contracted all right got some paint we're gonna need black and for her lips that looks like a burnt red color look at you skippy Couldn't help, but I had to rub the kitty. All right, this shade of red. What is this? No, it's like an orangey. It's a, I don't think it's red at all. It's more of an orange, like a tangerine color, which I used to have. I think I still do. If I don't, it's not a problem. I can do a custom mix. That would be a good red to mix with that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to custom mix it. One, two, three, yeah. First thing, I will go ahead and get the, these colors pre mixed. I'm using acrylic paints. I'm not using um, Liquitex or Golden because it's highly pigmented and on a vintage Barbie doll, it can bleed into the doll's vinyl. Nice small brush. This one. All right, I'm going to take this down. Okay, that's as low as I can go with this. Okay, but don't worry. Put everything here. Mm. 
that. We gotta make a color match. Perfect. I'm going to move my camera at a different angle. Um, so you can watch me actually work. That'll be better. Okay, now I'll hit a little bit of this for the eyelid. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to show you Barbie up close again. Now we're going to get ready so at the side angle you can see me actually working on it. So again, there it is. Her neck split has been fixed and sealed. It's drying very quickly. 24 hours for curing. She's perfect. I do not know if Linda has her potty, but we will see. I think she may have lost it. I think her cat's knocked this one off the body and who knows. But, I mean, she has lots of vintage Barbies, so it's not a big deal. She has certain ones like this. She knows I repair them, so she trusts me. You know what, Dixie? What? Oh, you want to get in my lap. I don't want you to knock your head. Oof, girl. Okay, there we go. There you go. Love you too. Be a good girl. Okay. I'm looking. I don't really know if I want to mess with her eyebrows. I'm not going to mess with her eyebrows. I just don't. I don't want her to look, you know, like a complete restoration because a lot of them don't look that good. I mean, they look good, but they never, it never quite maintains that vintage appearance. When I, most of the vintage Barbie restorations I've seen. I mean, it's like you can tell they were restored. The colors are too bright or vibrant or, you know, they made the lips a little too big or something like that. All right, let's get these lips done. All right, let me see, man. Right about there. Okay. Dixie, I really need you to be still. What? You got ants in your pants? Girl. I don't even want to hear all that. You're moving around too much. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to paint and you are being... Ugh. Girl, move. All right, so we have her bottom, bottom lip is done. Now for the upper lip.
I highly recommend natural lighting. It is really the best. Wow, this is something I've always done, but I've never really done it on a YouTube video as often. Because I'm, I've done a lot of repairs for people in my, in our dog club, things like that. Oh, this is. What is that? Is someone at the door? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not like being, oh, wow, I'm amazed at how good this looks. Okay, so I just shocked myself. So I was Okay, there's her lip. All right, so it's not clear from this camera because you know the back camera is always the best. I don't want to overdo it and I don't want to make it too dark, but oh my God, I'm impressed. I'm turning my camera around. There we go, focus. Oh, there we go, we got focus. And then we unfocused. Come on. Come on camera. Seriously. Ugh. Okay, I'm taking the camera off. There we go. Nice bright sunlight. So there's her lip. Please note I'm not trying to make perfection because they're not they were not made perfectly. So darn it, what does it do with this camera on the back? Sunlight. Hmm. Okay, there we go. So, there she is. Ah! Seriously, camera, focus on the doll's face here. So. I followed the lip. Now it doesn't look like it's completely... At the best, but the thing is, is that none of these dolls were done to look perfect. If I make it too perfect looking, it's going to look like it was hand painted. So with this kind of a view, it's going to look like, you know, more like factory. Okay, put my camera back up again. We're going to come back over here to the side. Fix my stand. Pizza. Maybe that makes some sense into my thought. It would be better. Okay. So I'm trying to push the hair back here so we can zoom in. That right here, that ought to work. I'm trying to push her hair out of the way so that I don't want to get any paint on it. Okay. I'm going to use the same brush to fix a black part of her eyebrows. Now that was more prominent until I, I maybe mean, use a little bit of Nita's brush cleanser. Drop. It's quite thick, like a gel form. So I'm cleaning the brush with that. Now, 
black eyeliner over the lid. Her eye color is perfection. The doll, her eye color is absolutely perfect. Um, her eyes are like a turquoise blue and white. So that is original. I like how I did the lips. It looks like it would have been done like this at the factory. Because if you, that's what I mean. A lot of times if you're trying to do perfection, I mean, they look good. The lips look good. But if you're trying to do it too perfect, it's like, that's when you know it's been restored. I mean, this is not to be resold under the pretenses of her looking all 100% original. No. I mean, Linda has a huge collection of vintage Barbie. And this is an amazing head. I can't wait to show her the finished results. I can't believe I'm already done. I'm double checking the lips. I think I will. Touch it up just a little hint more on this part because it looks like a very sharp ridge in a way. There we go. We make that look a little more rounded out. Ooh. Okay, that works. Looks amazing. When I do a restoration, that's what I do, a restoration. I'm not trying to add or take away anything. I'm just simply trying to make it look the way that it should as a restoration. I'm very, very love this. This turned out perfect. It's kind of like how a vintage Barbie originally was. Now, granted, don't worry, I am going to turn my camera around and show you up close. Um, I'm not going to touch up that eyebrow because it show, her hair looks amazing with the detergent. Look how shiny that is. So this detergent works really, really good. And then I ended up dipping in like some hot water. And taking a brush, going around in a circular motion to really work that in. To look like it did originally. She looks absolutely amazing. I'll show you. Just give me a minute. I'm waiting a moment because I'm going to seal this. I'm not using a gloss sealer. Now with restoring a vintage Barbie. Because those dolls that. Well actually this one did have glossy lips. But to me with the matte. With the age. A matte sealer goes really good. With this. And I had to get a hell brand new matte sealer. And it's thicker, so it's not a liquid form, so hopefully it's not going to keep messing up like my other. All right. Again, I am applying a waterproof, non-yellowing polyurethane matte sealer. I'm not using a gloss. This way it can maintain her original did a vintage look. I think that's very important with restorations. Now I do call her lips, her original lip color was glossy, so I am gonna do a gloss on the lip. But I have seen videos where people use Liquitex golden colors for restoring their vintage Barbies. The problem is, is that those paints are good quality on canvas. But when you're painting vinyl, like on a Barbie doll, 
um, that high pigmentation can bleed into your vintage Barbie's vinyl. Um, the vinyl on this Barbie doll's face is not anything that is current. The materials they used back in the 60s is nothing compared to what they do today. And you have to be very careful with the paints you use, such as these modern paints that I use today are not going to go well on vinyl, especially vintage vinyl. The material that was used to make this, again, this is not what they use today on modern Barbie. And you don't want a type of paint that's going to bleed into this vinyl within a year or two years down the road. And you definitely do not want to try and restore a doll, a vintage one, and then you try and sell it. And then the people, someone displays it in their home and end up loving her. And the next thing you know, they see red bleeding around the mouth, things of that nature. So you have to be careful. That's why I use acrylics, but I'm not using golden acrylics and I'm not using Liquitex. No, is that right? Is that Liquitex? I believe it is Liquitex. Um, paint. Because these high pigmented ones, they will bleed into your doll's vinyl and destroy her. Are you ready for the reveal? We have repaired her neck split completely. And I have finished her repaint and I've applied the sealer. And the sealer is already dry. So here we go. There she is. Beautiful skin color. And doesn't is it that perfection? Her skin tone is amazing. Her eyes are the original color. The only thing I have repainted or touched up on this doll is the black on her eyelids. And I repainted her lips. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to add blushing. I'm not going to do any of that. So she can keep her, um, maintain that vintage appearance and quality. Because if I made her look brand new, she wouldn't look vintage -y. So now she's absolutely done and ready for display as soon as we figure out where her body is. So I can't wait to go show Linda. But anyway, this is my video on Barbie restoration with repainting. Um, there we go. There's a good view of her eyes. Yeah, like I said, light, I'm not doing the eyebrows. I'm leaving one lighter than the other. Um, I believe that happens with age, but also I've seen some that were never opened in the box. That's not blood. That's paint on my finger. It's dried. Um, but see the dish detergent and hot water made her hair go back into its original hairstyle. There you can see where the split neck was. See? Ta-da! Worked out great. And this is natural lighting coming in through here on her. So you're looking at her with natural sunlight. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed um, this vintage Barbie restoration video. Um, again, the black spot right there on this eye here, I did not do that. That is factory made. All I did was touch up what was necessary. Um, that was a full lip repaint. And just the black over the eye, that's it. That little, that 3D part that sticks out and the neck split. That's what I repaired. Nothing more, nothing less. I feel anything else would take away, take away from the integrity of the original vintage look of this Barbie doll. So I don't want to do anything too much. I don't want to do anything else. We're going to leave her like this. So she looks amazing. She's ready for her body and she's ready to be redressed. Perfect. I use um, waterproof sealers, so my paintwork is waterproof. It's non-yellowing. It will not cause discoloration on the paintwork down the road, and my paints will not bleed into her vinyl. These are very important things when it comes. I've been repainting American Girl dolls for 14 years, and everyone who owns a doll by me still has those dolls. Brandon was the first person I ever painted for. He still has them. And my paintwork has never bled into the vinyl. And he had Pleasant Company American Girl dolls. 
So the materials I've been using for 14 years work. They work well. And I provide permanent results without any problems in the future, which is a blessing. And it's hard to find someone who can give you that. That That's for sure. It's very hard to do that. Um, as you see, oops, not trying to show you my sketch, but these here are watercolor pencils. And I found out that these look amazing when you're working with vinyl. But I've seen people who are repainting Barbie dolls with those um, watercolor pencils. And then they used a sealer spray on the entire face. And I found out from another previous artist that the watercolor pencils, um, over time, they do bleed into the doll's vinyl. So they will bleed. Those will bleed into the, any a doll's vinyl. And the spray sealer will crackle on the doll's face. So be careful with using um, watercolor pencils. Definitely be very color, careful with that. Uh, yep. So I, I stay old fashioned. I do old school acrylic paint. So there she is. She looks really good. I can't wait to show Linda. Okay, so I'm going to turn my camera around toward me because I'm not going to show Linda. I don't want to disrespect her or her privacy. Let me see. Oh my God, I've lost the pencil that goes up in my phone. What have I done with it? Oh, God, it might be in my pocketbook. I just realized that's missing. I have a stylus phone. Oh, my God. I wonder if it happened when it failed. You have to excuse me. I have PJ here. She likes to sit beside me while I'm crocheting. Oh, God, who knows where I lost that. I'm going to need my stylus pen. Yeah, I'm crocheting. A blanket, a little, a little blankie. Okay, so I'm just gonna have this where you can hear her opinion. Hey, Linda, do you have a moment? Oh, yeah. The camera's not turned toward you. I turn it toward me, only to hear your opinion. Everything is set and sealed. Paintwork has been sealed. I didn't want to add anything. I just wanted her to maintain her vintage integrity. I didn't touch the eyebrows. Only eyelid. I repainted the lips completely, and I fixed her next slit. I could Does she have a body? Ah, uh, the cat got this. I have to find the body. Trouble got. I have to find it. Trouble. Did you look at it good in the lighting? You saw it. I can see it. No, it looks really good. You like that? Yeah. Don't worry, it's non yellowing, so it won't really bleed good. or nothing. And she has fibers that I did. I restored for her. I'm pulling the camera. Sorry to put the camera up in my face, but it's just to protect her personal belongings. Where Where do I put this? On a shelf. I'm going to set it up here like this. That way they won't see it, but her head, neck split, everything's fixed. So we'll find her body. It'll pop up sooner or later. It's not telling where the cat's got that. The good thing is they didn't bite, put, they did not put bite marks into the doll's head. Her little fur friends here, they get into a lot of stuff. They've gotten used to me flicking with their ears. It's crazy. I have to wear glasses in order to read and to see every detail of my paintwork. But then yet, I have to take them off in order to see how to walk because everything's blurry. My vision's 20-20. That's 100% accurate. The problem is, it's just I just need to be able to see these super deep details with my paintwork because with Barbie Convention graphics and also... Oh, there's my stylus pen. Yay. Found it. Oh, I can show you this because I'm not using it. I'm not using this for Barbie convention. I didn't paint the arms and I didn't even finish it. So let me turn the camera around. It looks better from that view. Okay, so I can show you some of my paintwork. There we go. Yeah. I didn't add arms because, again, I'm not going to use this at Barbie convention. But this is how my paintwork looks on something like a canvas. That's how I do the hair. So this is something I can definitely show you. So I'm happy to be able to show you something that I worked on. 
And, you know, like I said, I haven't, didn't do any arms, but to capture that vintage Barbie doll body shape, you know, that's it. I stopped because it wasn't looking quite Barbie enough. I think because the skin tone was just a little too dark, if I made the skin tone lighter, which I can do. Now, if I repaint on this, I could use it. So I probably have to make her skin lighter, and I think that would work. And give her some arms. She's wearing a red swimsuit. But anyway, this is how my paintwork is on canvas. That way I can, I can, I got to show this to all of you. That way you got to look. Uh, natural lighting. Yeah. So I hope you like my paintwork. That's my paintwork. Um, I got a lot of vintage Barbie stuff here to look at. This is my Barbie doll. Um, I looked at her face sort of, and I did repaint on this one. I gave her a full reroute. And I had to repaint her lips and I brushed her cheeks. So this is my Barbie. And I put her in a more modern swimsuit with modern shoes. And like I said, she's not for sale. That's my doll that I used to play with. Hmm. But anyway, I feel good. I feel happy. I got to show you a little something that I do. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of using that for something, but I don't know. If I repaint her skin tone and make her more lighter skinned, but I was looking at the actual Barbie doll and her skin has this very peachy, orangey sort of look. So that's what I was doing with the painting. So I may take the painting and make it lighter. Um, I may change her skin color, but that'll change blushing. Uh, it's just a lot of work. I come at better just creating a whole new look. So I'll probably finish her up and use her to decorate my own space with. Um, my peaches and cream I worked on last night. I just gave her hair a new rinse. Um, she looks amazing. I got her really cheap on eBay with her dress box and everything. I'm still shocked I got her at that price because she looks, she's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God, guess what I want. So... Mattel has just released the three new um, Rewind Barbie dolls. I want those three. It looks like Barbie, Krista, Barbie, Christy, and Kira. Those are the Barbies like I grew up with, which is pretty much what was in the 90s. But yeah, those are mostly the Barbies I grew up with were ones from the like late 90s. So, but I did get a lot of used pre-loved 80s barbies growing up so any questions about the um vintage restoration i know a lot of you ask me what kind of paints do you use what kind of sealers you use okay i use um americana these are the acrylic paints i use um americana is what i've been using since for 14 years now this is the brand of paint I've been painting with on American Girl and all the other dolls. I use Americana. Um, I believe these are on sale at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't like a lot of the things that the Hobby Lobby represents. How did that hole? Oh, peaches and creams. Well, look at that. That's where the hole was. You don't see it. See, it was back there. It's gone. Um, hot water, boil water, dip your Barbie's head in. If your Barbie has a broken neck and the head is pushed down to the shoulder, take the head off, um, use a coffee maker to make hot water, pour the hot water into a bowl and put your doll's head into the hot water. It will shrink her hole back up in her head the way it should be normally, like this one, it made it tighter. It will also shrink up the holes. From where the earrings are. So hot water shrunk the hole up immensely. And I didn't let it get to her original hole here. So I'm going to make her a new hole. And I can put in her earrings. But what I'm going to do. When I get ready to put on her earrings. I'm going to put a little dot of glue. The permanent glue. Loctite or Gorilla Glue. Just a little dot. And then I'm putting the earrings back in. So they will be permanent and not come out. Um, also, where I restored her legs, as you can see, they're now nice and tight. 
very nice and tight. So they tried to put them on. I'm taking quite a few barbers with me to have a barber convention to help me rewind at night time to relax. I'm not doing, I'm not participating in any programs at Barbie Convention. I am going to be a volunteer, so everyone who's going to be at Barbie Convention, you know, any help that they will need those first two days that we arrive as those days to help set up. I'm going to do everything I can to help, you know, anyone who's working on getting things together. I know that I will be, I know that I'm going to be in the room getting everyone's gift bags together. So, like, people who are part, like, Barbie can, with Barbie, the Barbie fan club, I will be in the room getting your gifts together, your bag, your gift bag. What you get, I don't know. I was told, oh, I do know what the centerpiece Barbie is. I do know what Barbie Mattel donated for the centerpiece. Um, I can't tell, it's a table, the table piece. I can't tell them what it is. It's a new Barbie, so someone else is having to make the outfit. And they got like a hundred and some of those. Um, but I can't tell you what Barbie doll that is. <laughs> but I can say that she was out last year. That's all I can tell you. Yes, I signed. Yes, I have two contracts of confidentiality. My first contract that I've signed is with VIAE Toys. Um, that's with Ellen. I love her. I love her. I love her. And adore her for giving me the opportunity to be a legit designer with a toy company. And I love working with her and for her. So my contract of confidentiality with her, it is a bound, sacred contract to me. And I respect that. So nothing that's, anything she's ever shared with me remains completely secretive. And I have not shared with anyone. With this Barbie convention, I had to also sign a contract of confidentiality that I would not, I can't share any of my graphics that will be used at Barbie Convention. I can't share that with the public until it is released and shown at Barbie Convention. Now, I did share it with Bill Greeny. He is a designer at Mattel. He designed all these reproduction Barbies that you're seeing. The Barbie Rewind dolls, he designed them. Um, oh, God, I should message him and ask him, could I have some? <laughs> But I know that he can't do that. He wouldn't do that. Um, I really want the prom Barbie so bad. Oh, my God. I would love to have two of each one of these bar those Barbies, the new Barbie Rewind. Oh, God. I love them so much. Oh, I do have something to tell you. If you love the Barbie Rewind dolls, I, I will tell you this. The three that just came out are the last three in that series. They will no longer continue the Barbie Rewind series. Yep. So if you love them. Get them while you can on Amazon, the ones that don't sell, because that series has come to an end. Um, I don't think I was, I don't know if I was supposed to say that or not. But okay, I put it out there, so now you know. Um, I love these three. I want two of each. I really love them. I want one set to play with and one set to collect. But I plan on taking my little duffel bag, redoing it with Barbies that I'm going to be taking to Barbie Convention to play with. Um, I'm also going to have my glam on, except for the first, I was told that, I think it's that Wednesday, our fashions that we wear will be based on a picnic, so I am going to wear my floral, long sleeve, sheer sleeve, peasant girl type dress, but I'm going to um, soup it up with um, a pair of jeans. Um, I plan on losing about 15 pounds before then. I'm also taking, because it's going to be hot, humid. Um, I will be wearing half wigs to about barbie convention. Well, unless I'm wearing, do a messy bun. Um, but I am getting a wig that starts out with dark hair and then it's blonde. So I am going to have that without messing with my hair. So I have that barbie glam look, but with my face... We all know I look like Madonna from 1990. Well, from probably 86, 87 through 1995-ish. Um, anything else? I love doing restorations on Barbie. I love doing restorations on any doll. I had to restore um, Grayson's American Girl doll he got for... um. Christmas, as you notice, I did that live here on YouTube. I did not repaint the doll. 
I didn't do any of those things. We, I told him that we restore her um, limbs, you know, her, the tightening, the this, the cording. So I gave her new cording to restore her. We cleaned her. Um, we did replace her wig with an original American Girl doll. I gave him one of mine. Um, Dixie, what is wrong with you? Um, yeah, I love restorations. I do have one issue. Back when my mom's, when we had our fire issue, the apartment above us caught on fire. My Barbie, my Barbie book. Yeah, see all the damage? I had paid about $15 for this Barbie coloring book. And as you can see, I didn't want to throw it away. But I never got any money from damages or anything. My dresser was damaged, but thanks to Crystal, she helped me be able to get, I had to get a new computer. So that was what I did with donations I received. And I hadn't used it yet. But I really love the graphics like this in this coloring book. See, that's how I learned how to do Barbie hair. I learned how to draw Barbie's hair like this. This would be a really pretty picture. As a graphic, that would look good on a t-shirt or something. So if any of you that are Barbie collectors, if you have any extra Barbie coloring books like this that I can use for graphics and things like that, I would really, if you could donate them to me, I'd really appreciate that. And I promise I will send you um, a hand painted graphic. I will, any a graphic I make, I will give you a copy. I will make you a printed copy, and I will sign it, the back of it, and I will send it to you. So if anyone has any '80s Barbie coloring books, this is 1985, perfect. If you have any 1983, 84, 85 Barbie coloring books, like the Barbie '80s era, I love these graphics. If you have some that you don't want. Please contact me to send them to me, and I promise you, I will, if I, whatever I use to do graphics out of, I will send you a printed copy. Yep. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something special with, as a graphic, to give everyone at my table at Barbie Convention. Um, it'll be a printed copy of my artwork. So, I uh, maybe I might end up making them like a little booklet with images that I've done for Barbie convention. That would be cool. Color copy prints as table gifts. Oh, uh, I'm doing that. I'm going to do that. Or if you have Barbies you don't want anymore, just let me know because I would be more than happy to take them. Um, I go to see my doctor, um, my neurologist. Don't worry, Crystal. I will save some for you and Vanessa as well. You're my moderators and y'all are amazing. Jenny, 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 Jenny. I, I know. I need to get Jenny in here. We're, what happened to our moderators chat? We need to get back into that. Maybe Jenny can respond to the moderators chat. That way I can send her a copy of some of my graphics as well as gifts because y'all are amazing too. Anyway, I rinsed her hair out, so got rid of a lot of yellowy color. Um, I love the thickness. I can't believe how cheap I got her. I just love her, love her, love her, love her. I have over 50 pieces of paint Barbies, but I can't get to them. But I don't care. I just want more. Love them. Because when I go through my storage unit, I'm going to go through a lot of dolls that I have so many of the same one. And just list them on eBay and stuff like that. So, yeah. I need to ask. Well, Linda does have coloring books, but... You know, they, this, her stuff is packed up. These are some really good graphics. I love this one. I love that. Because I can look at them and get inspiration. Oh, see, I love Barbie with jeans. Look. Anyway, that's how I learned how to do my hair. And I don't see anyone else really doing that with their artwork. And I'm happy. I'm glad. I'm doing mix like that. Anyway, I guess we can. This hair got all wrinkled up and torn. But yeah, my pages, my coloring bucket, it really got destroyed. And the water damage. Yeah, 
let's pan it. Look at this picture of Barbie's hair, see? Oh, that would look pretty. Create an image sketch like that, that. Maybe they can use it on the back of the registration book. That's a good idea. I'll ask Linda before I do it. Now, I will show y'all this, because I probably won't use it at Barbie, for Barbie convention. This is a graphic I did a few years ago. Um, yeah, this is one of my pieces as well. And I use powdered makeup and colored pencils. So that's my artwork on paper. So now you've seen some of my work on canvas and paper, things like that. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Also, um, I want to do beautiful color prints of my paintwork because all of my artwork on these cardboard canvases, I am going to donate to Barbie convention so that they can auction them off. And um, I want to choose a charity that, that goes to mental illness. I want to choose a charity that somehow um, it can benefit. Um, how I wanted to go to two things. Um, women who suffer from domestic violence and um, mental health. So I will talk to them about that and see what happens. So. In the meantime, for those of you who love Barbie, like I do, enjoy them. Her hair is wet. I'm going to redress her in a minute. But I am going to get what I was saying was on the 14th. I'm going to leave early and go by my storage. I'm going to get my sewing machine. And I'm also going to try to look and see what else I can get my hands on, like dresses. Because the last night of convention, I will be wearing an evening gown. And... Um, it will be, I plan on doing, I'm going to bring my glam, but I promise I'm going to have everything documented here on YouTube. So if you're not a subscriber, um, I'm inviting you to be a subscriber and to join my membership program. Um, it's kind of like what YouTube calls it a fan club for your fans, but I don't really see, I don't look at my subscribers as being fans. I look at my subscribers as being people who like my content. Um, doll related if it's not doll related then you know people who can relate to me so you know when I started YouTube 14 years ago people were not getting famous on YouTube so there are no stars here okay stars spelled backwards is rats so I am not a YouTube star or nothing like that it's just me I'm just living my life sharing my compassion my personal life, but also my journey as a designer, as an artist, as a doll collector, with uh, anyone and everyone who also shares the same compassions as I do. And I also share myself doing paint work and restoring and making over dolls, repainting them, washing them, giving tutorials. It's all here. Sewing, all of that stuff. I'm looking at designs I have over there. Um, I do have a design I would show you, but Linda wants to use it for something, but I don't like how her face looks because I would rather use it, I would rather redo it and do it on a type of a um, thicker, flat, more smooth surface. What are you doing, Skipper? Anyway, thank you all for joining me. Hope you all enjoyed the rest of your day. I want to go for a walk. It's very beautiful outside. It's perfect. I need to exercise. Um, I think fresh air and a good walk will help me clear my mind and be refreshing. So, everyone, enjoy your day. Bye. Until next time. Oh, 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 by the way, by the way, it will be soon, of course. Um, I got um, another rewards email today from American Girl. And so um, I, I used um, that that I was given as a reward. And um, I got some more outfits coming in, outfit pieces. 
So I'm going to wait for those to come in, and then I'm going to do a video redressing my American Girl dolls. So I get to show them with you. So yeah, we do have some doll stuff coming in. Um, one thing I've learned that Mama Joyce, she really, and she loves watching on her TV. She watches Reborn artists. She has a collection of Reborn babies. And um, she loves watching people redress their newborn baby. She loves watching. It relaxes her. They talk about personal stuff. They kind of rant like I do. And um, I never really watched um, Reborn videos on YouTube, but I will sit with her. I sit with her in the living room and I get caught up into it. I get caught in that little bunny hole. And um, I do watch that. I watch people work on their reborns and um, when they open their kits and um, paint work, stuff like that. So I do respect that. That's a lot of work. Um, so the reborn doll artist, wow, I totally respect what they do. And I see the videos where people are so excited and overjoyed and overwhelmed when they open their box and they see their reborn baby and they get all these goodies, these outfits and accessories and clothing and little blankets and little um like little pacifiers and all these things. So it brings so much joy to the people who buy them and you know, everyone has their favorite reborn doll artist. So I've been watching videos like that with her and I totally respect that. Um, and I enjoy watching them with her. Um, it gives her pleasure to see that. Uh, Christopher, I didn't even know they did that. Uh, if you're definitely the one to know. Crystal says, I love the reborns that look like vampires or horror icons. <laughs> I have not seen any of those. But, um, I, I've seen some beautiful, beautiful reborns that look lifelike, so lifelike and realistic, it's incredible. Um, I can see why people really enjoy taking them with them in the little car seats, on trips, and having their little bag set up with all the little baby stuff in it. Um, I, 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 I'm intrigued. I find it fascinating. Um, you know, um, I respect in anyone who is doing artwork with dolls. I mean, I'm intrigued and fascinated by people who use these watercolor pencils with um, Barbie and American Girl. And I'm intrigued and fascinated. I think it's amazing what they can do with that. And then you got people who use these the, these tempered paints. Those paints are reborns. They have to be heated. That's how you seal them. Um, things like that. So... There are so many people within the doll world of artistry, people that can draw, people that can paint, people that repaint all these different dolls and use different methods. I find it absolutely fascinating. I find it incredible. Um, I am, I'm really enjoying looking at other people's talent and what they do. Do I want to do it? Absolutely not. I would love to do one reborn baby. And I want the Shyla kit. That is the kit I want. And I want her to have blue-gray eyes and black hair. I think she's called Shayla. It's Shayla, Shyla, something like that. Oh, God, I love that kit. It's like, to get everything from that kit, I think it's around $100 for the kit. And the little, the little things that go into the, inside the arms and the head and the legs to make it where you can use those little ties to seal them and clamp it so i think so too i think i think uh, reborn babies are very healing that's what i'm seeing in a lot of the videos very healing for people especially women um that i've seen you know maybe they didn't have children or maybe they had a child and they lost their child at birth or during birth or stillborn that can be traumatic and they end up with you know, a reborn baby or babies, and it gives them comfort. I totally support that 100%. Um, yeah.
I, I'm just glad that we have some amazing artists out there who know how to give someone that luxury and just something that makes them feel, that makes them happy. I'm glad that there's so many of us who do different types of artwork, paint work, because since there's so many of us and a variety of us who do doll repaints and things of that nature, you know, we're able to reach a wide variety of people and what they love and what they like. I think the most important thing is supporting one another. The most important thing is supporting one another. It's okay. Not everyone is going to love each and every one of us. Of course not. Because everyone has their own opinions, their own tastes, what they like and what they love, but also um, what gives them pleasure, what makes them happy. So that's why I'm glad that we have such a variety of doll artists. That makes it so much more easier for people to find something that is for them. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead, wrap this up, call it a day, and bye everyone. I wish you all the best. I wish you all happiness and joy in your life. And again, if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe and hit the bell to reach notifications. And you're more than welcome to join my the join the membership. Um, with that, you get to participate in the chat. I get to acknowledge you and say hello personally. And um, people, if you want people to nourish your channel to subscribe, you're more than welcome to join in. And I always recommend people subscribing. Um, wait, where is Crystal? I mean, Crystal's right here. I mean, where did Vanessa go? Um, I really liked her video she did of Barbie redressing them and opening them. Yeah, it, YouTube's a good place for her. So, yeah. Bye, everyone. Enjoy.